bright and early today. I am going to go ahead and uh, restock my bread flour because I need to make some bread today. And I have my big two gallon jar here. I have it cleaned and this used to have organic all-purpose flour in it. I'm replacing it with bread flour since I am making bread on a weekly basis. Um, and I am keeping the all-purpose flour in a one gallon jar. And I have some wheat flour over there that I still have not gotten a jar yet for. So I'll just have to dig out of that whenever I need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and restock my flour. Big flour jug here. up a, one of my mylar bags to get my bread flour. Oh, it smells so good. And we've got some bay leaves, so we'll put those back in. And there's our oxygen absorber that was in there. saw another big bay leaf floating around. And I'm not feeling it. Oh, there it is. I thought I saw another one. Okay, we got our yeast is all nice and bubbly. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this into my bread maker. I use my bread maker to do the kneading process for me. I could use my chicken aid. I could use my kitchen aid as well, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let the bread maker do its thing and then it can also do its first rise in there. So I'm gonna dump in my yeast and water. Okay. And then I'm gonna put in my two tablespoons of butter. You can use butter, lard, oil, whatever you'd like, whatever is your preference. Since it's bread, I personally like butter. Okay, and then I'm gonna add one quarter cup of honey, and you can use whatever kind of sweetener that you like, uh, white sugar, uh, you can use a, a, sub, a sweet a sugar substitute, um, but I am kind of making a honey wheat loaf today for my son's weekly bread. We'll see how he likes it. I mean, when he was a child, he did not like wheat bread, but 
I am going to try and make some honey wheat bread and see how he likes it. All right, so I need anywhere from um, four to five cups of flour. So I'm gonna start with four cups of flour. And this is a, a two cup measuring cup. So there's two, and then I'm just gonna put one more cup of this, and then I'm gonna get one cup of wheat flour. start with I'm just doing a three to one ratio because I don't know if my son's gonna like it so that's why I'm using um, three cups of um, bread flour and then one cup of wheat flour and then I need a teaspoon of salt Ooh. yeah I'm making a mess And then that's it. We're going to go ahead and close the lid and I am just going to use the dough cycle, which on my machine is number seven. And what that does is that kneads it and then allows it to do the first rise. After that point, I will pull it out, punch it down, and I will put it in my bread loaf pan and then I will let it do its second rise. So that's it for now. That will take an hour and a half to do the, the mixing, the kneading, and the first rise. And I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna get started on while our bread is doing the, the kneading and the first rise, I'm gonna go ahead and make a dessert for this weekend. Uh, since, you know, my house is full, I've got a lot of people. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some s'mores cookie bars. And for this, you're gonna need, can't see if you guys can see that, three quarters of a cup of sugar. We're gonna need three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. We're gonna need three cups of flour. We're gonna need one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of chocolate chips, whatever kind you have. I have um, the Lily's No Sugar Mini Chocolate Chips. You'll need one cup of marshmallows, mini marshmallows, you need the minis. Some vanilla. Okay, and then you're going to need one cup, which is two sticks of butter. Uh, your butter should be room temperature. So I've had these sitting out for a while. They're still kind of cool. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll stick them in the microwave for like 10 to 15 seconds just to soften them up a little bit. And then you're going to need two eggs. And you're going to need some graham crackers. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna go ahead and put our butter and our sugar into the mixer and cream those together. Now I'm gonna go, like I said, and put these in the microwave for like 15 seconds, uh, just to soften them up a little bit. Don't wanna melt them, but wanna soften them up a little bit. Okay, 15 seconds was all I needed. They're pretty soft. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put both of these sticks of butter 
in my mixer. All right, and then I'm going to put my sugars in, both my regular sugar and my brown sugar. So three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I have that really packed in there. Okay, and then three quarters of a cup of white sugar. And we're gonna go ahead and cream these together. Okay, and while that's creaming, I have a 13 by nine inch pan here and some parchment paper, and I'm gonna line my pan with some parchment paper. Now, just a trick for you guys. If you try putting parchment paper in like this, it's not gonna, it's not gonna stay. It's gonna keep popping up. So a way to fix that Crumble it all up and open it back up. And now when you put it in your pan, it'll stay. Okay, voila. And then Well, that's pretty clean together. So now we're going to add uh, the, our eggs and our vanilla to this, and we will cream them together again. So two eggs. And we'll cream that together. And in this pan, we're gonna go ahead and layer as many graham crackers as you need along the bottom. And you can just keep them whole unless you need to break them up to fix, uh, to fit in your dish. just one left in there so that'll be a snack for somebody my granddaughter when she comes home from um, her preschool today she can have that as a snack okay so now that this is creamed together we're going to go ahead and put in our vanilla one to two teaspoons whatever you like do you ever measure vanilla I don't Okay, so then the next thing that we're gonna put in is our three cups of flour. So I'm just gonna put one cup at a time and then add whenever it mixes in. And add it slowly or you're gonna get a face poof of flour. And I'm just using regular all-purpose flour. Two, 
One more cup. mix for a minute and then we'll scrape down the sides. And we need our three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And our three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. and scrape down the sides to make sure everything gets mixed in really well. Make sure there's nothing stuck at the bottom that's not getting mixed in. another little mix. Oh, and we need to preheat our oven, 375. So normally this next part I would mix by hand, but those of you that's been with me for a while, you know I'm having issues with my hands, so I'm not going to be able to manually stir, so I'm going to let the mixer do the job. Surgery is less than two weeks. Okay, so we need a quarter cup of chocolate chips and we need one cup of mini marshmallows. All right, so I am just going to put this on low and just let it stir, just do the stir cycle. Now you could do this by hand. Um, but I just can't do it. <clears throat> okay, so we look good and combined. All right, see, there we go. It's all nice and combined. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our 13 by nine pan. And top our graham crackers with it.
Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and press this down to make a layer. Read my spatula. Okay, and what I like to do is just add in some extra chocolate chips on top. And there we go, and we are going to bake this for 30 minutes at 375. Uh, you'll just wanna test it. You're gonna to wanna to put a toothpick in there. If it comes out clean, it's done. Um, so that's it. I'm going to put this in 375 degree oven, 30 minutes. Okay, and there are my s'mores bars. Now, mine, whoa, can't hold anything with my hands. Um, mine actually only took 25 minutes in the oven instead of the 30. Um, so I'm going to let this cool for a while and I will bring you back and show you what it looks like whenever I cut them up. Okay. And... Now that that's done, my bread is also done with the first rise. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it out and I'm going to punch it down and roll it up to put it into my bread pan. Got my bread here and I'm just going to dump it out onto a floured surface. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch this out. I want it as long as my Pullman loaf pan here, which um, is a little bit longer than some of the standard loaf pans that you get. Um, since I was making my son everyday bread, I went ahead and got one of these two pound Pullman loaf pans because that's more like a size, um, a full size of bread. So that is why I went ahead and invested in one of those and I absolutely love it. And I have my oven door open because I don't want it super hot in that oven since I just took out those s'mores bars um, so I opened up my oven while I'm doing this part so it can 
definitely cool down. And once it hits 95 degrees, that is the proof cycle on my, um, my oven. And then I will put it in the oven for the second rise for about an hour. Okay, so this looks pretty good. And I have it in a rectangle. Now I'm just going to go ahead and roll it up. This dough feels really nice. And I'm going to tuck under and pinch the ends. And then I'm just going to put it into my loaf pan. Just like that. put my lid on it and I'm going to put this in the oven to proof for one hour. And here are the s'mores bars. Mm. So good. Mm. Yummy. Okay, our timer just went off for our bread. So let's take a look. Okay, look at that. Now I'm just gonna double check, make sure it's done since I'm making a different type of loaf than what I normally do. You want it to be around 200. And this right now is about 198. So that should be good. Okay. So turn off our oven. And then I'm going to flip this out of the pan and then get some butter and honey on the top because we want this is an everyday sandwich loaf even though it's a honey wheat you want to make sure that it stays the, uh, the top crust stays nice and soft so I have some Kerrygold here and I'm just going to spread that over the top of the bread That's the butter. And now I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of honey. I 
have my honey here. And I'm just going to just drizzle it over the top. Okay. Okay, let's check out my to-do list. Baked bread, we did that. I restocked my flour. Pennsylvania Dutch pot pie, that is what is for dinner tonight, so I have not started that yet. And dessert, I did make that. That is my s'mores bars. So other than dinner, we are checked off for today.